What is up folks, this is Aircast, and I am digging a hole. You may ask, what am I digging a hole to? If you looked at the money map, you might have an idea. Um, I am trying to find the ender portal. So, oh, there we go. I say there is some brick. Awesome. Um, but I just wanted to show this to you guys. And hopefully... There actually is an ender portal in this place because I have run into several that have not had them in them. So, uh, not in this map, but I just hope that there is one because I don't have that many ender pearls left. Um, I've had to go out and search for them, so, oh, hey, look at that. I kind of don't want to break this. And that's got two on there. I think we might have enough. Well, it's six, nine, twelve. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I've got plenty. So I actually had some extras. And that was actually really lucky because usually I wander around in these places for a very long time. And actually I am going to kind of wander around in here. Because I would like to see if there's anything in chests and stuff. And at the moment, going in... Oh, hey, there's a chest. Uh, going in there at the moment is a very bad idea. Because I don't have a bow yet. I keep meaning to make one. But it just hasn't worked out that way yet. So, I really need to make a bow. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and do that in a few minutes. But first, I do want to kind of run around this place and see what's up. Okay, so Monday and Amulet, I'm not really interested in that. Alright, let's go back up. Oh, actually, you know what, let's make a marker. I think that was actually the easiest ender portal I've ever found. <laughs> um, and as you can see, I already have a spawn portal to the nether here, and a desert portal. That's a decent amount away, so I can gather sand and stuff like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a new one. And I'll make this one that ish color. Alright, so this is the another the end or portal. Alright, so let's go ahead and save that. And let's turn you off. Because I don't want a big beacon in the way while I'm trying to wander around. Alright. Let's go back upstairs. Over here. Alright. So we've got that direction, we have this direction. I'm kind of wanting to stay on this level first. There wasn't anything up here, right? Yeah, it's just a wall. Okay, so let's go ahead and go this way first. Take a left. Okay, it looks like it goes down. And there. Oh, and you know what? I don't have a lot of torches, so I might just go ahead and go home before I end up, you know, lost. <laughs> All right, so I will be back with you minute in a minute when I am home, which is going to be a little while. So, back in a second. Alrighty, folks. So I am back home, and I'm about to make. Well, I need to remember to get some torches. Let me go ahead and do that. But I'm about to make a longbow with Tinker's Construct. Now I've not done this before, so I might have to do a little bit of trial and error. But I have the basic gist of what I need to do. So I'm cooking up some manulin in there. And I need a plate. And these should be fine. But I need an arrowhead pattern. Oh yeah, I was getting some wood so that I could make some more blank patterns. Because I am completely out. I have a little bit of wood somewhere. But I don't think it's really enough to do much. I can just do it with this. Hopefully. Anyway. That should be fine. And hopefully. Yay! Awesome! Yeah, 16 should be plenty. Alright. And I'm getting some of my achievements over again because I know I've made some stencils before. Because if I hadn't, then, well, I wouldn't have all these. But... Eh, whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and put them in the table here. Alright, we've got the arrowhead pattern. We have the bow limb pattern. We have the fletching pattern. We need the string. And... 
I think that's it. Which one's this one? The fletching, I have that one. This is for the crossbow, probably, yeah. Okay, so we can come back to that if we need to. Alright, so I need some cobblestone now. Crap. It's always something. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab... Eh, it's up here. Let's just grab a stack. Okay. And the reason I'm doing all of this is because... I really need some ender pearls long term. Now I used up a few to get over to the place, obviously, but oh, I need some string too. Um, but where is my? Oh, it's over here. Um, I need a bunch long term so that I can do a whole bunch of stuff with Ender IO and um, stuff like that. All right, so arrow pattern. We're going to need that out of stone so that I can make a cast of it. Hopefully I still have some of the stuff in there. If I don't, I can go get some more. Oh, I don't think I've made that plate yet. Um, I need bow limb patterns, which I'm going to need to cook these guys up with, and I'll show you how to make that in a second. And I'll need some fletching, which I'll need that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this over here. I need these in there. I need to put this down. Okay, manulins on the bottom. I do have some aluminum brass. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one first. And eventually, let's take eight ingots. So it takes a little while. Okay, so we've got the large plate there. Now we need this one on the bottom, so that we can make a cast. Ta -da. And out of that, I'm going to also make that out of annually. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump back over here. And I'll just toss that in that chest. Okay, so now we need to grab... Well, I'll show you how to make these. So this is the pattern to make the slimy mud, which I'm going to go ahead and make these guys because why not? Because I have so much slime, it's ridiculous. And I've got some blue slimy mud here, so I'm going to go ahead and toss these in the furnace. And you'll see these make slime crystals. Cool. And I'll just go ahead and toss those in there as well. Okay, so next we need to get some string. So I should have some around here somewhere and if not yeah there's some string cool let's say if not i do have well, that's gonna be plenty uh enough to enough wool to go ahead and get some string that way i'm still not sure why this dirt is growing underwater because this is all new dirt that i put down so that it wouldn't leak into the bottom so the big chamber i've got down there so I'm not quite sure why that's doing that, but I guess it's really not a problem. All right, so I'm going to put this stuff in here. We have the arrowhead pattern. That shouldn't be a problem. All right, so bowstring. Let's go ahead and do this. And we have that. Okay, so this is just a normal bowstring. I can go ahead and change that later. I'm not sure what everything bowstring. Okay, here we go. Uh, enchanted fabric and flame string. Of which I don't have at the moment, so. Okay, so fletching. So we can make these out of slime crystals. Cool. So we have this one. And we need our limb patterns, which it doesn't actually tell us what we can make those out of. But I'm pretty sure we can make those out of slime as well. So there's one. And does it take just a shard? Okay, it takes more than a shard. Oh, it took two of them, didn't it? Okay. So let me go ahead and grab another one of those. We need out of here. Oh, we'll jump back across. Really need to make a bridge, don't I? Alright, so let's go ahead and put those in there, and then that'll make an extra. Okay. So we've got the string. We have our shaft and our... Uh, slime fletching. Um, 
we need what else? We need the arrowhead, which we have, so it's everything there for the arrows. And then we have those two pieces. We've got the plate, so I think we have everything that we need. All right, so we can go ahead and make the bow first. All right, we've got that, that, and that, and that. All right, so we have a slime longbow. Cool. Uh, arrow speed 6, draw speed 1.85. Water fires remaining three. So we can go ahead and upgrade this later, but mainly I'm wanting just a bow at the moment. I need something that I can work with, you know. So, and this makes 92, which is kind of unfortunate. Is there anything better that we can make this out of? I, hmm. Okay. Well, so that should be enough to start off with. I'm not too worried about it. All right, so let's go ahead and think like that. And let me store this stuff, and then I will meet you by guys back at the portal. Okay, folks, so now that we have what we need, our torches and our bow, we can go ahead and start exploring this place a little bit. I'm uh, not sure how big this place is, but well, let's see. All right, so it looks like we've explored most of this side. We went left, or we started to go left, and then there was this. Okay. Oh, that was actually kind of creepy. Uh, let me go ahead and turn our sounds up now that we don't have slimes all over the place. Okay. We know if a creeper sneaks up on us or a zombie or, you know, whatever. Oh, well, that's it. Well, that's kind of disappointing. All right, so there's plenty of ways down over here. Yeah, this is one of them. Okay, so we don't have any artifact traps in here because we don't have artifacts. So that's a good thing. We don't have to search for. And it looks like that's a dead end. Well, this place actually not might not be that big. Um, this goes up to a dead end. So we just have the one other way down, I guess. Let's go ahead and open this door. And let's go down here. Let's drop all the way down. Is that really all there is to this place? Oh. Like silverfish. Who does, really? I guess that's it. Well, that was really disappointing. Extremely disappointing. I thought, was there one more, one other way down? I guess not. Huh. Oh well. I, I was planning on, you know, spending at least a good 10-15 minutes exploring this place, but... I guess not. Well, that's a shame, because I really needed some bookshelves. But... I'm not seeing anything on the map, so... Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there's something over here. Okay, so there is a little bit more to this place. There's this little piece here. And it looks like there's some over here as well. But I'm going to have to dig around before I can find that stuff. So let's go ahead and just go to the end. And then we will go from there. And I'm going to go ahead and block this off. Why, you ask? Because I know it doesn't matter. But still... I don't like it. Actually, I didn't want the spider eye. Alright. In we go. Oh, I forgot to switch out my power pack. Downloading dream. Still downloading terrain. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. Okay, is she not going to bother us? Okay, good. Because if she flies over here, then I'm kind of screwed. Well, that was not good. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, that was like the worst start ever. <laughs> 
I can't believe it just put me on a platform way the heck out there. Okay, good. She's still way over there. So many Endermen out here. Right, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. And I'm sure you guys didn't want to hear that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh, there she is. Okay. I was like, I can't. Oh, what are you? Um. What the heck? <laughs> okay, so why was Jaded Cat in here? Uh, damaging her isn't gonna... So, what is adding all these people? I mean, I know who they are, but what is adding that? <laughs> oh, well. Three hearts. Still not... There's one. Hey! Oh, that hurt. That really hurt. I can't die. Okay, she had a range. It looks like it, because she's not popped up on our uh, boss thing. Okay, so I'm going to have to get used to this. Oh. I really need to heal up, so I need to keep an eye on her. I should have brought some potions if I had thought about it. I haven't made a brewing stand, though. No hitting me. Oh, still got me. I probably should have gotten some better armor as well, but I didn't really think too much about it. Oh, did I switch that out? Okay, that should help a little bit. Yeah. Away. No. Alright. I need to go concentrate. Oh, I actually looked at that Enderman, but he didn't bother me. Okay, you're way up there. Got that one. I don't know where she is, but she's far enough away it shouldn't be a problem. Uh-oh. I hear the flapping. Hey now. I didn't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Okay. She's over there. Oh! Hey! I really should have gone. Okay. okay, not good. Not good. Ah, darn it. Alright, I'll meet you guys back here. <laughs> okay, folks. So, I've got all my stuff back, and I'm fighting more of these guys I made a little hole right here so I'd temporarily be safe but ah. <laughs> all right I'm gonna try to just keep moving this time that way hopefully she doesn't come after me too too much uh oh okay there she is So let's try to take out the crystal. Nope. Ah, just barely off. I'm not used to these bows yet, so. Hey! I think she'll be close enough. I guess she was. Oh. Alright, she's over there now. So let's go ahead and. Uh, don't want to get near her. I did upgrade some of my pieces to diamond armor, as you can see here. Got boots and chest piece. I didn't really want to do that, but... Oh! That is not nice. <laughs> Look how jaded sounds like a cat. Sorry if I'm not talking much. A little stressed here. Usually this fight is not one I ever get stressed about. Wow, this thing's inaccurate. 
Um, but with the state of my armor at the moment, it is a little bit stressful. In fact, I'm using a bow that I've not had experience with. Oh. And I've got mod pack makers and mod makers after me. That's not fun. I didn't look at you. I mean, I did, but I, you know, I didn't. Hey, oh wait. Let's change direction when I hit you. Wow. I should have just gone for a normal bow. Oh, I need to eat badly. I might just have to run around a little bit, trying to keep an eye on her just so she doesn't come after me. She is hurt a little bit. I wonder if we can hit this one from here. Depends on the amount of drop these arrows have. Uh-oh. Hey, you're eating the clouds. Hey! These guys are actually making this fight annoying. Like, not hard, just annoying. Whoa, that was close. That might, might actually have killed me. Yeah, that was so inaccurate. I don't think I like these bows very much, actually. I thought I might, but anything more than really short range, which is usually what I like to attack at is long range, um, they're really kind of bad. It might just be what I have this made of. That well might be. Okay, it looks like we just have this one left. Oh, no, there's one over there. And I doubt I'll be able to hit it from here. Yeah, it's way off. Oi! Okay, we've got two. Now, where did she go? Apparently close enough. That was just a tap, so that wasn't bad. Oi, Slowpoke, you're the most annoying of all of them. Because you keep coming back. I'm a little afraid of that Enderman over there, because he's all sparkly. Nice. Now we just need to get this one. Oi! Oh my gosh! All of them. Oh, don't want to hit that airman. I don't want to look at that one. Alright, come on. Oh. That, I got somebody's head. And let's kill you. Alright. Hopefully that'll help us out for a few seconds at least. This is actually kind of embarrassing. Because somebody who's a veteran of, you know, Vex's maps, that has played all of them, shouldn't be stressed out by an Ender Dragon fight. Oh, go away. Trying to kill you, Crystal. A big part of it's this bow. That is just so unreliable. Yeah, see how far that went off course? That looked like it should have hit. Wait. Might hit for a good bit, but being so inaccurate. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to go to this side and hope that that one ender crystal isn't going to be enough of a problem. Unless I've got some over here I didn't kill. Oh wait. Alright, so let's try to kill her from here. I think I might have looked at that Enderman. Or maybe try to kill that one from here. Yeah, it hits for a good bit, it's just so inaccurate. 
Oh, nice. I got like way off. It might have be because I use slime on here. Um, okay, she appears to be gone for the moment. <laughs> he has a computer on top of his head. Alright, where are you? Oh, there you are. One. And another one. Doesn't look like it. I'll go back to shooting at this thing. Maybe one of these days I'll hit it. Hey. See? Slowpoke. Again. <laughs> How many arrows do I have left? Oh, 16. That's probably not going to be enough. I guess I'll have to resort to hitting her with a chainsaw if it gets to that point. Because if it does, I'm probably going to be in trouble. Nice. Yeah, that one crystal is just healing her too much. And I probably dropped half a stack trying to kill that one. Alright, let's try to go over here. In this corner. Over here by Jade. Alright, come over here, dragon. Come on. I need to kill all these people for Ender Pearls. And to do that safely, I need to be able to kill you. I might just cut to when I killed the Ender Dragon because this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to because uh, this is probably going to take a while. Alright, so I will be back in a minute. Alrighty, folks. We finally won. I had to use my chainsaw a little bit. And I got my bow down to an arrow. I didn't want to take it down lower than that because I didn't know if it's going to disappear completely or just be depleted or what so yeah i know this isn't the most efficient way to do it but it's okay as far as the experience goes all right so we've got some stuck up there in the clouds did we get a dragon heart doesn't look like it well, i got the message for it but i'm not seeing the heart itself might have to pillar up a bit. I think... Do I have... No. Oh, there it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look up here. Now the dragon isn't flying around, it should be safe to do so. So let's go up here and see if something landed in the clouds, because I'm kind of worried that it did. Or maybe I'm worried that it didn't. Hmm. I'm going to look around a little bit and I'll let you know. Get, you guys know what I find. Okay, folks. So, unfortunately, I couldn't find the heart. I don't know what happened to it. But it was not around. Put <laughs> it simply. Um, yeah. I say I looked around in the clouds a little bit. You know, but... It just wasn't there. Alright, so let's go ahead and put some of these down. And I need to put my pack back on. Oops. And I got some purple stuff from... <laughs> uh, from killing people down there. And I actually got a little bit of... Um, oh, it was the floral powder. I, don't know. I was like, I thought I got some... Um, 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 um... Uh, Dracronium dust from killing people. I might have, but I think it was just probably the powder. So let's go ahead and put these down. Let's see how far I can get. Not far enough, apparently. Um, but at least I can put these like this. And they grow much faster. Well, they grow faster when you put them on end stone than when you put them on, say, dirt. So that's why I put these down. But unfortunately... They still grow so slowly that it'll be a while before we get any gain out of these guys. But that's okay, because passive Ender Pearl uh, production is still pretty awesome. 
But now that we have access to Ender Pearls, and I'm going to have to go farm a bunch of them, um, but now that we have the access, now I can start doing some pretty cool stuff. So first thing that we're probably going to work on is power, and we're probably just going to use an Ender Pump to start off with. That's not my long-term goal, but short-term, as far as power production goes, that's probably the simplest way to go. So we're going to go ahead and go for that. And yeah, so that'll all be in next episode. So until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day.